Hello, this is Nella and welcome to my channel. I am here with making our kids Easter baskets, a collab with couponing with Tony. You guys, me and Tony have been talking for the past couple weeks trying to figure out what would be another great collab that we can do together. And then we started talking about the kids and then we was like, what you doing for the kids for Easter? And we was like, a collab. So this is it, you guys. So um, she have two children that's the same age as my um, chipmunk and bud. And y'all know they are going away for spring break with their mom. So when they get back, I should have their baskets nice and ready. In the meantime, let me show you how I'm putting together Bud and Chipmunk's basket. And majority of the items that I um, picked up today were from Five and Below and Dollar Tree. And some of the items I already had before from when I made the um, gift bags a couple days ago. Look down there if you want to see that video. Um, and, well, let's get started. Um, Y'all know I had these baskets from the Dollar Tree haul. Chipmunk was showing you these baskets. I was going to use these for the kids' baskets, but I decided... No, especially when my mother-in-laws, y'all know they love going to auctions and they ran across some beautiful baskets and they thought it'd be perfect to go with the kids Easter. So, I have this one right here for Bud and I thought this green would be perfect for Easter for him. And what I did, as you see, I lined the bottom. What I did was simply take some trash bags and balled it up and then put some wrap some tissue paper around it just to give a nice smooth surface. And then you turn around and get some of this green confetti. Y'all remember the green confetti on um, paper that I got, that I used to do the teacher's Easter basket? Yes, so I'm gonna use that as the grass in, as, in the basket. Some about this green just takes me back to, you know, bunnies jumping and hopping across the lawn kind of thing. Cause we get a lot of bunnies in our yard. Don't we, baby? <laughs> He's shaking his head. Y'all give it up for the cameraman. I love you, baby. <laughs> okay. So y'all see how this turned out? Looks like grass, right? So, then I picked up some items, again, from five and below. And some items that I know him and his dad can play with him. You know, play with him. So I picked up this green car because my um, jazz, my oldest, she's like, I think his favorite color this week is green. So I just picked up green. And so we're just going to kind of make that the center of everything. Because, hey, I think, he, I think he'll dig this. And then what I'm going to do is just stick this is favorite. He loved um, Paw Patrol. They also had that. What I'm going to do is kind of stick this in the back. And what are we going to do next? Then check this out, you guys. When um, my daughter, she's in softball, so she said, I want you to give him this so she can she got a mitt and she can play softball with Bud. So I thought that was pretty cute. So we can just kind of throw that on the side. It don't have to sit directly in, you know, just have it going different ways. And I thought that was pretty cute. So let's see. Then got an Easter book, a hard book. Remember those books, you guys? I got the little fur in it. And this is, this was a dollar. Can you taste the chocolate? No, you can't taste no, oh, no. You can't taste the chocolate, but you can taste this chocolate. <laughs> is there some other chocolate I can taste? We'll talk about that later, sir. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> you're so frisky. Anyway, um, see, you got me all discombobulated. Don't talk like that in front of the subjects. God. All right. Then um, Munchie picked out these glasses. She said, I don't know if you like Star Wars, but they pretty cool. Can y'all see that pretty good? All right. Let me go and just kind of stick that in there. And it's all about just sticking stuff anywhere. Because they, they really don't care, y'all. They really don't. They just want to know what's in there. And honestly, I don't know what this look like from that side. How they look, Dad? Did that look okay? That looks nice. It does? Yeah. Because I can't even see what I'm doing. All right. Let me put this. All right, I see. Okay, so this is what I came up with, you guys. Of course, I have to niggle some things around and 
move and shove and not put things in the basket. Sometimes you have plans to put everything you want in the basket, but sometimes it just don't work out that way. And I have to toss this to the side. I like to um, give my babies juice and they love their juice. And I was going to just throw some juice in there, but I just hold it for them. And they come back and I just kind of probably put this right beside the basket. And of course I got my shrink wrap. And what I'm going to do is place this basket right in the middle of it and stop all the noise, you guys. But y'all know how this plastic make all the noise. Yes, it. You try to do as much as you can towards the middle of it. As possible. And you know the basket is oddly shaped, so you're going to have to work with it a little bit more. Alright, I think that's it. And also, just gather it. Gather it. I'm going to take as much air of it out as I can. And what I'm going to do is use a pipe cleaner. Just give it a twist around once. A pipe cleaner just to tie it around. And I'm actually that tired. Since I'm not using any string. I'm actually tired the pipe cleaner. Go around here and secure it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is take the blow dryer and see how this works out. And always start from the bottom. And pray I don't blow a fuse. Always start from the bottom. You work your way up. The key is to try to get turn this off so you can hear me. The key is to try to get all the wrinkles out of the bag with the dryer and don't leave the dryer on the same place too long or you can burn a hole in the plastic and we don't want that. So let's keep it moving. Oh, for those who don't know, I picked up these bags from Dollar Tree and make sure you get the bags that has the blow dryer on them. They sell them at Dollar Tree for a dollar, of course. see my other video you probably already know but if not it's a bow included inside the um the bag with the plastics the shrink wrap you just pull on the tail and it will form a bow for you so it takes all the guesswork on how to make a bow and you just simply tie on your basket
And truth be told, I thought the girl was going to be easiest to shop for, but it seems like it was the boy, but it was easy, much easier to shop for. And that's different. All right. Um, I see. Okay, I finished with Bud's basket. Now we moved on to Chipmunk's basket. And to save time, I went on ahead and remember I used the trash bag and then the tissue paper wrapped around the trash bag. And then I put the grass at the bottom. <laughs> DBZ, you. That's, that's right. And also, I didn't mention to you before, I just included a couple of eggs with candy in them um, for Bud's basket. And this is for um, Chipmunk's basket. But I do that last so I can have the proper placement of them. All right, so again, we're gonna start with the biggest items first. I saw this at um, Five and Below, and this reminded me of um, Gummy's dog, Cassie. Um, it was her white poodle that passed away a few months back. So I thought um, Chipmunk would love this right here. It's supposed to bark and walk, so we shall see. Five and Below, who knows? All right, and also I picked up some, I love mason jars. As you can tell, y'all know I do my mason jars in salad, and I also drink <laughs> from my mason jars. I love your mason jars. So I picked up chipmunk, a mason jar, but it has frozen on, and I thought that was pretty cool. And it also has the top on it, you guys, but I think uh, once you open it, I think I'm going to swap it out with a lid that has a hole in it. And I can include the my mason jar straw so she can drink out that. And I thought that was pretty cool. And five and below. And I don't know how much it was, but I know it's five and below. <laughs> or below five dollars. Okay, so I'm just going to place those items in here like this towards the front maybe. And put the little coloring books. Of course, they were a dollar. Put that in the back. Then I got Peter Cottontail. Y'all remember this. The little Easter um Easter story about the Easter bunny. All right, I'm gonna put this in there as well. Then let's see. Then I got her some body wash. Her and um <laughs> Jazz always get an argument about. Of course, y'all know how my baby feel about her Irish Spring, my oldest child. So they get an argument about body wash. So I decided to pick up Chipmunk her own body wash. With frozen on it, so it'll be no misunderstanding that this is from hers and not from the stockpile. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and include this somewhere. But this is a big bottle, you guys. I mean, that's that's what kind of won me over. And to set this up a little bit more, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some more grass behind it so it won't lean backwards too much. Backwards too much. So stuff it. In the back. I don't know if anything will hold that big old bottle up. That thing is huge. This thing is blurry. It is? Yeah, hold on. I just hit the screen. There we go. Is that bottle? Is yeah. it blurry for a long time? I don't know. I wasn't paying well, attention. We're going to find out, you guys. So if it's blurry, I apologize. So you know no editing going on here. Mm -mm, we don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nope. All right, we're going to have to work this out. My baby gonna get her body wash. All right, we'll see if that stay like that. And maybe I can put her coloring book behind the Peter Cotton tail. So I see. Okay, so I decided the placement on the items. Can y'all see that real good? And now all I'm gonna do is just find a place where I can just put eggs on it, where it can be visible, then give it a Easter feel. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to stick the eggs in the well so they can be seen. And I opt not to put her juice in there as well. Of course, there's no room. But hey, if you're going to do one basket one way, you got to do the other basket the same. So I'm going to stick this one right here. I'm just gonna stick this one right here, and then now, you guys, I'm gonna grab the plastic bag and kind of put it right there in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna shut 
shake it down. Gather it in the middle. And some things may shuffle a little bit, kind of try to put things back a little bit. It don't look smooth. Do the best you can. And we're going to take this, tie it. The best way we can. Take the blow dryer. And we're going to start from the bottom. It would just melt away. Like right that baby. Right, and start working your way up. doing the um, blow drying the shrink wrap and I, sh um, I shrunk it, I shrunk it <laughs> as best as I could and I ran across this and I had a great idea instead of doing the traditional white bow that comes along with the shrink wrap, y'all remember these? You get these on Halloween they have these at Dollar Tree and what I decided to do is just make this a part of the bow I thought that was so cute when I saw it and I had, I'm like I got an idea, so yeah, you guys, I mean, doesn't it say spring? Spring has sprung, honey. So what I'm going to do is just tie it on here. trim this top part but hey I don't think it needed it so you guys let me show you the last view of chipmunks and buds basket how did I do did I do okay You're freaking outstanding you like that baby yeah it looks nice so again, look what you can do for pennies on the dollar from um, Five and Below and Dollar Tree. And of course, you know, you don't have to have these um, exquisite baskets that I have. You can simply use these. Exquisite. Yes. They are Dollar Tree baskets that I have too, because that was what I was initially going to do if I had, um, if my mother-in-law was having to these around the house today. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to link Couponer with Tony video down there. And I cannot wait to see how she put together her basket. She claimed... She don't, um, she's not really artsy, but I think she got a little artsy in her thumb. I think, I think she'd do all right. So, y'all let me know if you like it, you know, let me know. I mean, y'all like this idea? So, try it out, okay? So, y'all have a happy Easter. I hope to see you soon. Um, I may try to, um, figure some things out for couponing tomorrow, but we shall see. All right? Love you guys. Smooches! Douches.